Okay, so here's the example that you should have just attempted. And um, I want to I wanna see if you can spot the difference between this problem and the one we just did. Um, a second ago I told you that with law of signs, you always want to look for a pair. So you always want to make sure you have a pair of an angle and a side across from each other. And as long as you do, law of signs is going to work perfectly fine. So if I was going to set this one up, because I do have that pairing here, I would say sine 52 over 64 equals, and then I would go for this pair here, except in this one, the x is your variable. Okay, and that's a little different than the last one we did. So this would be sine of x over 25. When I go to cross multiply that, I'm going to end up doing 25 times sine 52. And again, I'm not typing that in yet because I'll do it in my calculator all in one step is equal to, gosh, can I move this out of the way? I guess not. Um, that would be equal to 64 times sine x. Sorry, I'm kind of writing over everything else here. but So since I'm solving for x, this is really kind of my target right here. I'm trying to get x by itself. So let's divide by 64 divide this whole thing by 64, and then I'm taking this whole thing and putting it in my calculator this time. And when I do this whole thing on the left, all of this in my calculator in one step, I end up with 0 .3078. Now that's kind of a weird answer, but let's think about what that would equal. Over here, I got rid of the 64, so this is equal to sine of x. It's not equal to x, it's equal to sine of x. And that's because I was looking for the angle measurement here. So think about, how do you go backwards and find the angle measurement if you know what the sine is? Well, I would use inverse trig. So sine negative 1 of 0 0.3078 is equal to, let's see here, um, about 18 degrees. Okay, so the, the angle measure here would be about 18 degrees in this situation. Okay, um, again, this is the example that you just did within the presentation. Um, in case you didn't get it right, I wanted you to see the right thing to do.